Hi, this is a demo for a new feature of TypeScript plugins for Narwhal Node Build Executor. Uh, to best demo this feature, I have a Nest.js application set up inside of an NX workspace, along with a Nest.js Swagger module from Nest.js. Um, Nest.js Swagger does come with a plugin that we can use to demo this feature. All right, so setup wise, Inside of apps, I have that API uh, Nest application. Inside of libs API, I have a library data access. Inside of data access, I have a bar VM and a foo DTO. Now back to my application inside of app controller. I expose two endpoints. One is get foo, one is get bar, and as the name suggests. You see that get foo returns a foo DTO and get bar return a bar VM. Now inside of MantTS, I do have Swagger set up with the document builder, Swagger module dot create document, and Swagger module dot set up API docs. So API docs is where my Swagger UI is gonna be rendered. Right, I do have my uh, applications running so let's just go to the API slash docs now you will see the Swagger UI render we can test the API foo endpoint we try it out hit execute you can see that the response body of the um, re request returns the foo DTO however the Swagger UI is missing the information about this foo DTO, it does not know that this endpoint with this status code returns the foo DTO model. So how do we fix that? So if you are familiar with the Nest.js and Nest.js Swagger, then you will know that we're missing the decorators. Uh, so Nest.js Swagger provides some decorators to uh, allow for providing the metadata information for Swagger UI. For example, to, uh, to decorate that get foo returns a foo detail, we need to have an API OK response decorator that is import from Next.js Swagger. And inside of this, I have a type, and this type has to return the foo DTO. Now, if we go back to our Swagger UI, you will see that we have the schema returns a foo DTO, but then foo DTO does not have any information about its properties, which is foo and bar. Right, and now you're gonna have to go to foo detail and provide the information for Swagger UI. Now, an alternative that Nest.js Swagger provides is to use what they call a TS plugins. And uh, a TS plugin is a transformer plugin that can be run or that will be invoked during compilation time. So how do we turn that on for a Nest.js application or a Node.js application inside of an NX workspace? So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to remove this line. Right. The first thing you need to do is to go to workspace.json. You're going to look for the Nest.js application project. So in our case, that is the API. And you might have noticed that uh, Nest.js applications inside of NX Workspace is being managed by the normal no plugin or package. And specifically for build target, when we build the application, we're using the build executor from Node. So it, it, this will work for any Node application. One new option has been added to the node build executor is TS plugins. TS plugins accept an array of plugins. So now we can turn on the plugin um, by providing the path to the plugin. So for Nest.js Swagger, it's going to be as Nest.js Swagger plugin. Now we're going to hit save. And because we changed the workspace.json, we're gonna to have to restart the server. So I'm gonna restart the server. 
Now go back to Swagger UI. I'm going to hit refresh. Now that in addition to full detail, I also have bar VM. And my full detail now has the information of its properties. And it still works just fine with the execute. So I just return the foo and the bass. So you can see that foo and bass. But look at look at my uh, bar VM. Now bar VM doesn't not, does not have any information about its properties. So how do we fix that? I'll go back to workspace.json. <clears throat> Instead of um, using a string for the plugin, we can also pass in an object with the name of the plugin and an options object. So this options object varies based on the plugin. So the Nest.js Swagger plugin provides um, an options interface that you can pass in to customize how the plugin works. As of this moment, by default, the plugin will look at the controllers and for models, it will look at .detail.ts files and .entity.ts files. The reason why bar VM doesn't work because it it has .vm.ts, so the plugin skips that file. So for 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 bar VM to work, we're gonna have to override that default with the detail file name suffix, and it is an array with .detail.ts and .vm. Dot ts. We save again. Restart the server. We go back to the Swagger UI. And you see that bar VM now has the information of its properties. Also, the endpoint has that information. We can try it out, and everything still works, right? So this demo has been how to turn on test plugins for a Node application. In this case, a Nest.js application with the Nest.js Swagger plugin. You can use the same approach for GraphQL plugin or any other TypeScript plugins. More, more information is going to be in the documentation. That wraps up this video. Thank you.